Today I'm updating on the DD Reef Pro 900 and I have managed to lose some fish, lose some coral and inadvertently growing out bubble algae. The tank is now eight months old and boy has it been a challenge. The first challenge has been fish. Now as you would have seen from one of the earlier videos, I had five long pink fin amphias. Well now I only have one. Now what happened with the one that survives has been really aggressive and managed to pick off the other four. And what tends to happen, and I think this is quite common with amphias, the weakest hides and then just passes away. You're then down to four and so on and so forth. I must admit, I thought when I get to the last two, that would be it, but alas not. I even added two additional fish, which is Makoska's Flash Arras, which are absolutely fantastic. And I deliberately picked these at the same color, just in case they could break up the aggression but unfortunately they couldn't. I've had one fish now for probably about six weeks. The tank has settled down, or the fish have settled down, but still really disappointing that I lost four fish. And despite being in a hobby for six years, that's the first time this has happened to me. Don't get me wrong, I have lost fish in the past, not four in that way, and so soon after starting the tank. Okay, so problem number two has been sticks. SPS have been a bit of a struggle for me. I've lost a blue tenius that you can see there that was absolutely gorgeous. I've also lost lost a rainbow millie and over here I had a forest fire. Now I'm not too sure if that is actually dead or whether it's recovering. There is some green on it which is algae which means those parts are dead but I still see from time to time polyps on there so I'm hopeful that that one could recover. The only other stick I have got that seems to be doing very well is at the top there and that's beginning to, it was brown, is now beginning to turn pink so I'm hopeful that one has turned the corner and quite recently I put a red planet in there that's it's gone off colour but it's still hanging in there so we'll have to see and I am going to replace a lot of the SPS with others. Now some of the Montes have done okay so over there is a gold rush now this was actually green in my last tank in the Reefer 450. I put a frag in there before and it did turn gold and green which is the standard colour and the good news is that this one is now beginning to turn gold. If I then have a look over here we have a small colony of Tropic Thunder Montipora. Um, and you can just see around the edges, it's just beginning to grow out and that should turn more pinky. And also I think the location is pretty good. And that's it for SPS, other than one more here, which is an undata. Now, you'll see the brown bits, that's obviously dead, but the rest of it is actually alive and colouring up quite nice. Now again, this was in my uh, Reefer 450 and it had co got covered in sand to the point where most of it was, was white. So what I've actually done is put it in here and see if I can get it to colour up. So a long way to go, but I'm pretty excited that that will recover. Now, the chalice has done really well. So there is an avatar. There's two alien eye chalices there and there. And you see around the edges where it's a lighter color, that's growing out. One of my favorites is a watermelon. And you can just see around the edges, the green is beginning to pop. So that's settled really, really nicely. And then moving on to acans. I've got two acans of the same. That's a, a small colony there, red and blue around the outside, and that's beginning to fluff up quite nicely. And there is a smaller version of it, and you can just see it's a little bit sl slightly higher up, a bit more fleshy and expanded, so that's good. And over the back there's one of my favorite is a bubble coral. So I had about six or seven frags of these. I've sold some of them on, and the others are settling, and they'll move on post-lockdown. And then last but not least, I have some candy canes here. That one's recovering because it had fallen over in the sand for a couple of days. And that one there, you can see is nice and fleshy and it expanded nicely. And then last but not least, we have some bubble algae and you can just see that in the center there. I think it must've come in on a frag because bubble algae doesn't, I don't believe, just come out of nowhere. So I'm, I'm using Vibrant. Uh, I have the second dose of eight millimeters and I'm dosing that weekly. I haven't seen any change yet. And then what you've got over here is the rocks are a little bit green. Not green hair algae, but green nevertheless. I've had no green hair, hair algae or dino or any uh, cyno, so really pleased with that. And I'm not overly fussed about the green algae on the rocks because eventually that will burn out it comes and goes uh, it's just part of a mature of the tank maturing so a bit of a mixed bag why i think the sps have 
stripped is because the tank isn't as stable as it should be. I haven't been testing on a regular basis. I have the alkalinity and I'm going to start doing that. I don't believe it needs dosing, but I won't know that until I start testing on regular. Uh, I haven't been doing water changes, but nitrates are at about 10 and phosphate is 0.03. So that should be okay for SPS. They're not difficult to keep or they shouldn't be in this tank. So that's it for now. But in the next update, I plan to restock with some hardy SPS. If you like this video, why not press the like button and maybe subscribe so you can catch future updates. Thanks for watching.